You got a problem? <laughs> yeah, but uh, too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just out with it already. Okay. Have a seat. I'll tell you the whole story. My name's Paul. I'm on a damn good scavenger team. Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son Fitz is our second. Recently, some assholes moved into our territory, trying to push us out. Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Well, they're bad fucking news. Daisy went to talk to him to be neighborly. Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. It could have been worse. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fighters. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting yesterday. They never came back. And I don't know what to do. I, uh, I need to find them. I need to know what happened. I see. Okay, I can take a look. Where do I start? Oh, you're a godsend. The team must have left from our staging area. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building near Goldstone Loans. The signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just take a look. I'll make it worth your while. Promise. I'll check it out, and we'll see. Rather stuck in an elevator with a viral than at a table with a PK. Come on, tell me more. She's still safe. Is that? Oh, sorry. I thought she. You're Daisy, right? Is anyone else here? Paul sent me. He's been worried about you, Fitz, and your team. Where is everyone? At the Larrabee Building on Milton Court, not far from here, by the modern art sculpture. Fitz and Francis arranged to meet there. Francis seems more civilized than his brother Avery, but ask me. <laughs> I think he just hides his crazy better. I warned Fitz not to trust Francis, but my son, sometimes he's far too trusting. Chances are he waltzed right into an ambush. Please, check the Larrabee. You'll see the sign. Okay. How will I recognize Fitz? He's medium height, dark brown hair, bright blue eyes. Uh, blue jeans, black jacket with a, a pin on it. The Eye of Horus. <laughs> His lucky charm. For mystical protection, he says. Eye of Horus. What's that? That old Egyptian eye. Like that one. <laughs> Silly superstition, maybe, but right now, I hope it works. Francis's camp is up in one of the condominiums. 
at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Eugene Garnier Thruway, where the E-10 collapsed. Look there, too. Bring my boy back, and the team. Hear me? Roger that. I'll find them. Just get back to Paul at the canteen. with a note attached? Looks like an ambush. Might be time to look in on Francis. Maybe he has some answers. Get 
yours what do you want daisy and paul sent me i'm looking for fitz and his team they never returned after they were supposed to meet with you okay so this looks bad but i'm putting my weapon down okay this is all my psycho brother avery's fault let's start there he'll do anything to anyone to get what he wants including to me his own brother so when this fitz kid showed up I saw a chance to get free of Avery. I told Fitz exactly what the kind of monster my brother was. And he signed up on the spot to help me take Avery down. So the bodies at the Larrabee? Avery's guys. My brother is a psycho to everyone. So we gave them a chance to join us against Avery. The bodies you saw. The men who declined. The rest of us headed over to Metropole Tower. Over there. That's where Avery's holed up. Fitz took point. I held some men back to guard the rear. Uh-huh. And where are Fitz and his team now? They... Ah... Uh, they were captured by Avery's crew. They took Fitz alive. I wouldn't leave him behind. Not after what he did. But now that my men are dead... Not sure what I can do now. Are you sure Fitz is still alive? Last I saw, my brother likes him awake when he tortures them. I'll head to the skyscraper now. If Fitz is dead, you're next. Why blame me? He had skin in the game. His poor, injured mother.
the hell oh. Take it! <laughs> <laughs> 
Tough kid, huh, boss? When I saw those baby blues, I thought he'd start crying like a toddler. Nah, they didn't tell me. No offense, boss, but your brother's not right. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. He's been waiting for years to make his move. We'll get him. And whatever's left of his group soon enough. Ain't no one left. We killed them all. Hi, Avery. Just the man I came to see. Ah. Oh. Another of Francis's goons. Been here long? Long enough to know that you tortured a kid to death. He attacked me, you know. Never saw the kid before today. And the torture? Well, just a hobby of mine. His fault for provoking me. Well, shit. Francis told the truth about you, at least. You invaded their territory and Fitz only came to talk, so what happened? Francis, probably. Because truth be told, I was willing to talk. I sent a man with a map to propose a reasonable division of the territory. Next thing I know, this crazy kid shows up at my doorstep. My brother got into the kid's head. It's what he does. So, I'm Francis's plan B to kill you then. And like Fitz, no blowback on him if you kill me first. But he forgot one thing. That we might talk. So how about we make a deal? Go back and kill him for me. And I don't make you my next hobby horse. And I'll let Daisy and Paul know that this is my turf now. All of it. 
kind of deal is that? One that makes us even for me having to kill this stupid kid. They got nothing left here now, so they might as well clear out. If they don't, and we happen to cross paths, on my turf, well, it ain't gonna end up any better for them than it did for Blue Eyes. Fuck that shit. No way. Have it. <laughs> Never should have come here, Pilgrim. <laughs> you Pilgrim. <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> You better check that body. Eye of Horus. Shit. This must be Fetz. It looks like an agonizing death. Time to make Francis pay.
You made it. I mean, I'm so glad you made it back. Phew. Fitz, he okay? Everyone's dead just like you wanted. Fitz and Avery included. Time for you to join them. Hold up. With Avery gone, it's time for me to get mine. You did me a serious solid killing his men like that. No one can stop me from taking over. Certainly not Daisy or Paul. And sure as hell, not you. Francis and Avery are dead, and so is Fitz. We better get back to Frank's. Paul's not gonna like the news. Oh, and poor Daisy. Fuck.
always a lot of work. Five years ago, everything would have been simpler. Anything about Pavel. Sounds like the best. Did Daisy make it back? I don't see her. She did. She's resting. Uh, where's Fitz? He... He's dead. Francis conned him. He and your team were duped into attacking Avery. No, wait, what? Fitz? Th th that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's not like him. Francis used Fitz's love for his mother and the fact that she'd been injured to fire him up. And then Avery caught him and tortured him to death. Poor stupid kid. Getting himself killed just because he loved his mother. Fucking bullshit. All right. Okay. And what about the rest of the team? Marta, Snarry, Mehmet, are they gone too? Never saw him myself, but from what I can tell, I don't know how they could have survived. Well, at least tell me that Francis and Avery are dead. You got him, didn't you? Yeah, I took care of both of them. They won't be a threat to you anymore. All those people dead. <laughs> we never wanted to fight. <sighs> what a fucking mess. What the hell do I do now? You comfort Daisy. You mourn your friends. Then... You carry on with life. Here's the reward I promised. Someone had to get something good out of this. Might as well be you. I have to tell Daisy about Fitz now. Not a conversation I want to have. But I gotta pull the bandage off. Quick. And at least her son's murderers are dead. And that's what they call cold comfort. <laughs> well, it'll have to do. Fuck. Thank you, Aiden. Dead dukes. They were worse than the seas. Someone had to come.